Hello again, Year 9. Um, this is a lesson accompanying your um, work pack 6. And this time we're looking at another tense, which is the future tense. So we're going to, um, very similar to the past tense um, video that I did, we're going to look at the future tense this time, how to form it, what to look out for, and then we're going to do a um, couple of examples that we're going to practice, um, including in a listening task. So let's have a go. So we are going to look at the rule for the future tense, so how to build the future tense. So again, we're going to look at the different ways that we have of saying that we will do something in the future in English. So here we've got, for example, I will um, visit my friends or I am going to visit my friends. So we've got two options in English, in German, it's um, just one option that we have and it's quite straightforward which is ich werde meine Freunde besuchen. Okay, so um, we're going to look in a minute at how it's um, quite straightforward to learn that form because you are using the infinitive of the verb, which is in this case besuchen here. So like we have in the English, we've got two parts. We need to say I will and then the verb of the thing that we are going to do. So in this case, I visit my friends. We also have those two parts in German. So I will in German is ich werde and visit is besuchen. So you might be able to see here that the biggest difference is that the infinitive the uh, verb that we're doing goes to the end of the sentence. So besuchen here is at the end of the sentence. Okay, so it's really important that you learn the infinitives of a verb. What we mean with infinitives is um, a good way of thinking about it is they are the version of the verb that you find in a dictionary. So um, say we look at spielen, it will say to play. So in English, we always have to in front of the verb. So to play, to see, to meet, to go, and so on. In German, um, a nice little pattern is that they almost always end with en. So let's have a look at a couple of examples. So we've got here, ich werde spielen. Ich werde machen, ich werde kaufen, ich werde sehen, ich werde hören und ich werde essen. So as you can see there, if we're just looking at the infinitives, in this case they all end in the end. So this is a really nice little trick to remember when building the future tense. Okay, as you can see, all of these sentences have um, something else in common, which is the fact that they all have werde right after the ich. So this is how we say I will, and then the thing that we are going to do in the infinitive goes to the end of the sentence. Just like um, we looked at in the past tense and how to form a past tense sentence, if you've looked at that video, we um, have got space to fill in any extra information. So I've left some um, dots here, as you can see where you're going to put up, uh, put in all the information about um, what you're going to play, what you will do, what you will buy, what you will watch, listen to and eat. OK, but like with the past tense, it is very important that you have this structure of ich werde plus the infinitive at the end down first before you start adding all the extra bits. OK, just as I said about the past tense, if you are at the beginning of an exam or assessment, um, a good idea is to write down this list as almost a to do list or a glossary again on some scrap paper and then you go through those forms um, of the future tense and you use them in your writing. Important thing is that you've got the structure down first and then you add in the vocab that you're comfortable with. So 
this is an example list. Obviously, there are lots of different verbs that we can also use. We can say um, things like ich werde trinken, for I will drink. Ich werde lernen, I will learn. Ich werde gehen, I will go, and so on. So you need to make sure that you learn these and that you write them down ahead of time and have a list that helps you organize your writing. So we're going to have a, a look at a couple of examples. So you're just going to practice now by listening to me read out these sentences in a particular order. Um, and I just want you to match the um, what I'm saying to the sentence, to so the number. OK, again, the aim is just that you are listening right until the end of the sentence and you're just getting used to that particular structure. So I'm going to read out every sentence twice. OK, and the first one is Ich werde nächstes Wochenende meine Hausaufgaben machen. Ich werde Nächstes Wochenende meine Hausaufgaben machen. Okay, this is sentence number three. I will do my homework next weekend. Next sentence. Ich werde am Sonntag Kuchen und Kekse essen. Ich werde am Sonntag Kuchen und Kekse essen. This one is sentence number four. Ich werde in meinem Zimmer Musik hören. Ich werde in meinem Zimmer Musik hören. So here we've got sentence number two. Next sentence. Ich werde heute Abend die Nachrichten sehen. Ich werde heute Abend die Nachrichten sehen. This is sentence number six. Ich werde morgen in der Stadt neue T-Shirts kaufen. Ich werde morgen in der Stadt neue T-Shirts kaufen. This is sentence number one. Ich werde nächste Woche in die Stadt gehen. Ich werde nächste Woche in die Stadt gehen. This is sentence number five. I will go into town next week. And the last one. Ich werde mit meinen Freunden Fußball spielen. Ich werde mit meinen Freunden Fußball spielen. This is sentence number seven. And it means ich, uh, I will play football with my friends. Okay, so just as in the past tense video, we're going to use these example sentences to look at the word order a little bit more, which is really important when you're building a sentence in German. So what you need to remember is you will always have ich werde at the beginning. So that is I will. However, you mustn't forget about the actual thing that you will be doing. So that's the verb in the infinitive. So in the example of the first sentence, ich werde is I will. Then we have all this extra information that we're going to look at in a second, what it does and what it means. And then right at the end, we've got kaufen. So that, this will translate as I will buy. You need to make sure that you have this structure here at the top, ich werde, extra information, and then the infinitive at the end. You always have that in your sentences. Without that, you will not be able to um, gain marks for using the future tense correctly. 
So you need to make sure that you've got your glossary, your to-do list in any assessment test or exam, and that you make sure that you take the time, because sometimes in this case it really is quality over quantity, to make sure that you've got examples that are grammatically correct. And then you start thinking about adding all the extra bits of information in there. But make sure you've got these structures correct first. OK, so we're going to look at all that extra um, information. And what I want you to focus on is how we still have this main structure that you can see in red here every time. So that is maintained whenever we add extra information. So for example, if we add in time phrases, so we've got here phrases like morgen, tomorrow, nächstes Wochenende in sentence three, which is next weekend, am Sonntag, which um, is again on Sunday. And when we see that we have Werde and Essen, this is future tense. So this means on Sunday, as in Sunday coming up. Then we've got nächste Woche, which is next week. Make sure this is a little trap that we often fall into, that when we talk about week, we have nächste Woche. When we're talking about a weekend in sentence three, we say nächstes Wochenende. That is because sentence number three, Wochenende, is neuter. And in sentence number five, Woche is feminine. So you should always learn them as nächstes Wochenende, nächste Woche. And then in sentence number six, we've got heute Abend, okay, which is literally translated today evening, but we would say tonight. So later on tonight, um, I will watch the news. Okay, so as you can see, Werde is still the second idea in this future tense sentence, and we've got the verb in its infinitive form at the end, even though we have got some time phrases added in there. So in another part of um, another bit of information that you might want to give is where you are doing something or where you will be doing something. So we've got in sentence number one, in der Stadt, which is in town, you're in the city, you will buy new t-shirts. Sentence number two is in my room, so I will listen to music in my room. And in sentence number five, um, you will go into the town next week. OK, so as you can see, the future tense phrase is exactly the same. You might want to say what it is that you will be doing, whether that's buying new T-shirts, um, listening to music, watching the news or playing football. So as you can see, all that information is still valid and it's good to have that in there. But without that successful future tense construction, um, the whole sentence, unfortunately, wouldn't get you points for using the future tense correctly. And then you might say who you are doing something with. So in sentence number seven, again, it is I will play football with my friends. Um, as you can see, I've not always added every single bit of information. So um, sentence number seven doesn't have a time phrase in there, but it might very well do. So you could just say ich werde morgen mit meinen Freunden Fußball spielen, which would be, I will play football with my friends tomorrow. Um, so, like I said, you might want to use as much as you know and um, use all that, um, all those W's, so when, where, who, with. But the most important thing is that your future tense is grammatically correct. OK, so um, let's have another go at a delayed dictation. So what that is, is that I will read out six sentences. I will read them out twice. You won't see them on screen. But instead, what I want you to do is have some pen and paper, just some scrap papers, fine, um, at the ready or a whiteboard or the whiteboard on the back of your planners. And I would like you to listen to the sentence. Then keep it in your head for 10 seconds, not write anything down. And then after the 10 seconds have passed, write down the sentence as you remember it. Focus in in this task, especially on the future tense construction. So ich werde spielen or ich werde 
gain and so on. I want you to try really hard at making sure that you have included that correctly. Okay, you might want to pause the video after every sentence so you've got a little bit more time. So you might want to try and keep the sentence in your head for 30 seconds or so. And once I have read each of them out twice, we will go through the answers. All right, so let's make a start with those sentences. Then. So remember, I'm going to read them out twice and you can pause the video if you need a little bit more time. So sentence number one. Ich werde in die Schule gehen. Ich werde in die Schule gehen. Number two. Ich werde heute Abend Pizza essen. Ich werde heute Abend Pizza essen. Keep it in your head for 10 seconds. And then write it down. Sentence number three. Ich werde ein neues Handy kaufen. Ich werde ein neues Handy kaufen. Sentence number four. Ich werde Volleyball spielen. Ich werde Volleyball spielen. Take ten seconds and then write them down. Make sure you pay attention to that future tense phrase, so the one that's kind of a bracket around the other parts of the information. Sentence number five. Meine Mutter wird einen Liebesfilm sehen. This is a bit of a challenge because I am referring to another person here. So listen again carefully. Meine Mutter wird einen Liebesfilm sehen. And the last sentence. Ich werde später meine Hausaufgaben machen. Ich werde später meine Hausaufgaben machen. Okay. So you um, can have a go at that again, skip back a little bit and play those sentences again to listen. Um, please don't skip forward to try and get the answers. It's not about getting everything 100% perfect. It's about practicing the future tense and remembering that they are um, part of the whole sentence. So we need ich werde and the infinitive at the end. That is the aim. It is not about getting every um, spelling 100% perfect. Obviously, if you have managed to do that, that's a huge bonus. But for now, we are focusing on the future tense construction. So you can skip the video back if you'd like to. If not, I'm going to go on to the answers now. So we've got here number one. Ich werde in die Schule gehen. I will go into school. Number two. Ich werde heute Abend Pizza essen. I will eat pizza tonight. Ich werde ein neues Handy kaufen. I will buy a new mobile phone. Number four. Ich werde Volleyball spielen. I will play volleyball. Number five. Meine Mutter wird einen Liebesfilm sehen. My mother will watch a love film. As you can see here, if we're referring to another person, we don't use werde, we use wird instead. So he or she, we would use wird. And then the last one. Ich werde später meine Hausaufgaben 
machen. So I will do my homework later. So the word order for these is different to how it is in English. In English we have I will and then the verb. But try and think of it as um, Germans are very um, efficient and they like to have things um, in order. So we always need kind of a basic construction of the tense first. So that would be ich werde and the verb right at the end. And then we add in all the other bits of information. Um, the main thing is that you learn your infinitives. You know that you use the infinitives in the future tense in German. The good thing about them is, is that you are quite familiar with them. So it's a nice tense to get your head around. You need to make sure you learn them regularly. The key verbs that we've been using for quite some time are still going to be relevant in year 10 and 11, and they will still help you get um, a really good grade as long as you keep on top of it. And um, whenever you've got a writing task, start off with writing down your past, present and future tense phrases as a little list and glossary that you can use. Um, you can use your knowledge organizers for that as well. And you basically go through them and tick them off um, as and when you want to use them. So what you might want to do with this last task now as a little extension is um, like um, we've done it for the past tense as well. Have a look at those sentences, translate them into English, then um, close the video and have a go at translating them back into German and see how you are getting on with that future tense construction. Is your verb in the infinitive? Is werde the second idea in your sentence? Um, and have you made sure that you're using the correct form of the tense? Um, like I said before in the past tense video, if you have any questions, please, please do get in touch. We're happy to help you out with anything that you're not sure of. Um, use the drop in, the Zoom drop in with Ms. Ramsamir. If you have got any questions, please come prepared with a couple of questions or examples from your work pack so that she can talk um, you through those. And yeah, just be in touch if there's anything that you would like to go through again and you'll be um, properly prepared for year 10 next year. Okay, take care.